Well, boys and girls, it's all fun and games in the moment. Carpet soaked, <laughs> a lot of water underneath it. But uh, I was due, I was due to uh, take my carpet out and clean it up and do some vacuuming under here. So uh, that's what I'm doing today. Then I want to give it a power wash. Uh, great epic time. All this in about one hour of massive rainstorms. Uh, probably could have done a lot better if I realized that my back doors, which were on, if I realized that the windows were down, that would have been great. Uh, <laughs> and then, as you know, my uh, my doors got buried in 10 inches of freaking mud when I had them sitting out at the trailhead. That was unfortunate. So I had a couple things go against me. Uh, but anyway, we'll take some time today and it's always a work in progress to get the Jeep back up and running. Get it all cleaned up nice. A little at a time. All right. Don't forget about this, boys and girls. Wow. That sucks. There is a... Uh, there is a drain plug in there, as I recall. Look at that shit, man. You gotta be kidding me. Somewhere in there. Wow. Crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. Front footwell carpets. Ah, this makes for a long day. We'll just try to get some things cleaned up. And this is going to be a multi-day project. I ain't spending the entire day here on this, but we'll see what we can do. Jack was completely immersed in water. That thing's got to dry. Now, I, I generally take this out and keep it lubricated and whatnot. But we're going to let a lot of this stuff dry in the sun. All right, um, a lot of my carpet is soaking wet. It is what it is. Some of it will dry outside. Some of it will dry in the house. Uh, I'll give the inside more attention. Right now I got the heat on. Try to dry some of this. I pressure wash the bottoms of the doors. These doors, see the line right here? These things had sunk. Basically mud and water rushed to where I had the doors in it. 
completely encased them. I, I couldn't believe it, man. I, I picked the freaking doors up and the muddy water was just draining out of the drains at the bottom. So that was really unfortunate. But uh, generally speaking, the Jeeps are pretty user friendly. The drain plugs. I just didn't want to have mold and let it go for a long time. So I thought it best to just pull these carpets. Let's get them dried. Let's vacuum them. Then I'll give the uh, interior some attention. Years ago, I made a few key cuts in my carpet that allow me to pull it out in like four pieces without having to take any seats out or anything like that. This is some of my interior LED lighting wires are right here. You can see I took the section of carpet that goes out in the back. These are my feeder cables that go to my inverter off the battery off a 150 amp fuse. You can see I got the back all opened up. I took the compressor out, all the carpet out of the back. The only thing left is the inverter. I kept this section of carpet in because I have some cuts right here and I just didn't feel like unbolting the entire inverter and taking that all out as well. So I left that. Not bad, user friendly. We'll get her back. We'll get her back in pristine condition in no time. Well, maybe a little bit of time, but there you go. All right.